but bangers. Y'all, today, 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 we're gonna be answering some of y'all questions. I put a poll up on my Instagram and I asked y'all to ask me some questions, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm exposing the truth today. Woo! Are you ready? So listen, y'all. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit that like button right now. Subscribe. Show your boys some love. We're on the road to 5K. Road to 5K, then 10K, then 20K. I'm hoping, honestly, by 2023, y'all, I can hit 100K. Do you think we can do it? Comment below right now. Do you think we can hit 100K this year? Yeah, that's actually a goal of mine, to be honest, now that I think about it. But y'all, I ain't gonna talk too much. We're gonna dive in straight into this video right now. All right, y'all, so we have the questions here that you guys asked. We're gonna get into it right now. Jeez! First question. What is your favorite thing about making content? Mmm, that is a good question. I wanna say my favorite thing about making content is actually being able to read the comments after we put out the videos, after I drop my videos because like I love the way that y'all is reacting to the video, you feel me? So um, I just have so much fun making content, man. Content is everything, you know what I'm saying? Being able to create memories that's always gonna be on the internet to go back and watch and be like, yo, I remember when that happened, that was super funny. And just you guys responding saying like, yo, I was having a terrible day. And you know, once I watched your video, you know, I was able to smile. It took my mind off of all the things that I was going through in my life. That's basically one of the most favorite things that I like about. What is your favorite pair of shoes? Oh, my favorite pair of shoes. I'm trying to look over here because I got shoes over here, yeah. My favorite pair of shoes. I ain't even gonna lie to you guys. Oh my God, if you know me, you know I'm a big Yeezy fan. I got so many Yeezy. I feel like these are my favorite pair of shoes. These are definitely my favorite pair of shoes, man. The 350s. The 350s were crazy. I remember when they first dropped and they sold out everywhere. They sold out everywhere and they were going crazy. Obviously, you guys know when shoes drop, uh, the resale price is outrageous, especially in Toronto, Canada. So my nephew actually worked at Foot Locker. He was able to get his hand on a pair. And I got Yeezys for days. I got I got the Pirate Blacks, you see? I got every pair of Yeezys that dropped like, Easy, easy. Where you at? You gotta sponsor me, man. I got the Pirate Blacks. I got these. Oh my God. I got, I got these. I got every single pair. I got the all whites. I got the seven hundreds. I got the Yeezy slides. I just got Yeezy today, so I wanna say those are my favorite shoes, all time favorite shoes, but I'm actually trying to dive into more shoes, y'all, because I just wanna be able to walk into my closet and just, you know when you see those um, shoe collectors and their whole wall is like full with a bunch of shoes? Yeah, I'm trying to do that. Biggest lesson of 2022. Ooh. That's actually a great question. I wanna say my biggest lesson of 2022 was, focus on myself, you know what I'm saying? I feel like 2022, I had, I had focused on a lot of other people, other projects, and I kind of lost track of my own goal, my own personal goals, because I was worried about other people. So I feel like the biggest lesson for me was to really just focus on myself. Also realizing that the game ain't fair, you know what I'm saying? This game that we play, life isn't fair, you know what I'm saying? And when you understand life isn't fair, you'll be able to accept certain things that happen in your life. And I feel like I was able to really understand like, yo, this ain't gonna be easy. This journey that I'm on is never gonna be easy. There's gonna be people out there that have it easier than me. Um, things that I do, I won't be able to get away with when somebody else can get away with it. I just gotta understand that the game ain't fair. Just for you to comprehend and understand like, yo, it's happening to me just because this is my journey. This is the journey that God put me on. So, you know what I mean? That's what it's gonna happen. Jamaicans say it all the time. Puss and dog don't have the same luck. And what that means is what's going on with somebody else doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna go on for you, even if you guys are doing the same thing. So never watch another man, never watch another woman, never watch another person because what's for you is what's for you. And also just understanding, never give up. You know what I'm saying? Never give up, never stop grinding. Always stop, always grind because when you ain't grinding somebody else is grinding and they're gonna take your place so just always trying to stay on top just keep working yeah i think that was the biggest lesson for me is just focus on myself man when you worry about not getting results when you worry about oh i didn't get that job when you worry about oh i wasn't able to get this get that puts a 
lot of stress and it brings a lot of negativity into your life. So I think biggest lesson is being more positive as well and just creating positive vibes. Bro, we got a whole bunch of questions now. We got a whole bunch of questions. I'm not answering them in order. I'm just going through them to see. What is your biggest fear? Mm. My biggest fear is failing. I want to say my biggest fear is failing. Outside of drowning, um, that is obviously my biggest fear is drowning, to be honest. There's another question that asked me about that situation, but that's my biggest fear of drowning. But my also biggest fear is failing. I want to say like, if you guys know me, you know me well, I used to play soccer my whole life. I used to play soccer my whole life from when, since I was four till like 20 plus years. I played soccer and my whole goal the whole time was to be a professional soccer player. I, I literally played at all levels you can think about um, from regional to provincial to national, all that. I did all that. And when I was done university, I was I was on trial. I was trying to be a pro, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to be a pro soccer player. That was my dream and it never happened. You know what I'm saying? Like I failed at that. I feel like I failed at it because I never tried hard enough to go on trials. You know what I'm saying? I only did like one or two. I feel like I tried. I tried like three times and I think the last time I gave up was the moment that this coach told me, you know, I got a contract, I was about to sign for the team. And then a couple months later, he came back and said, you know what, you know, it's not gonna work out type shit. So after that, I kind of gave up. So I feel like my biggest fear is failing again at life, you know? So that's probably why I find myself working so hard right now and just trying to be successful with what I'm doing because I don't want to continue to fail. But that's also ties into another question where it's like, that ties into the lesson you know of 2022 where it's like you're gonna fail you know i'm gonna fail at things i'm gonna fail at many things but that just that doesn't mean that it ends there how many babies do you want Ooh, this is a hot pepper question how many babies do I, I want minimum two youths i need two because i feel like when you have one when you have one kid like they grow up not being able to like kind of socialize with people enough they're spoiled bro like <laughs> you're not gonna be spoiled no spoiled little brat you have to be the sibling i feel like when there's a sibling they build that vibe that connection you know what i'm saying and like yeah you know they got a protector as well i want two kids i want to make sure i have a girl and a boy or if i have two boys two girls whatever i get i just want to make sure there's two you know what i'm saying so they always have somebody that they can talk to and confide in because you know as a parent a kid sometimes is not really gonna tell you certain things that's going on with your life so you i feel like siblings they become like best friends like best friends like i remember like me and my brother used to be like super best friends and we still are really super close so it's like you want that i feel like you need that in your life so definitely two not one all right next question what's something that made you who you are today oh <laughs> I want to say something that made me who I am today is soccer, bro. I would never regret playing soccer, but soccer made me who I am today. I learned so many lessons from just playing that sport, you know what I'm saying? I learned how to be in a team environment. I learned how to work super hard, you know what I'm saying? I learned how to adapt to situations. Like, there's so many things that soccer have taught me. It taught me value, patience, so many things, you know what I'm saying? It taught me the game ain't fair. <laughs> It definitely taught me the game ain't fair. Something that made me who I am today is soccer. Definitely something that helped me be a very humble person, hardworking person, social person. And I think a lot of people would say that too. Like sports is one of those things that kind of shape who you are. I feel like soccer got me out of a lot of trouble. Back in the days, high school, I was running wild. You know what I'm saying? I was doing crazy things. Me and my boys, we would always get into like problems, trouble, fighting, all these things. But I always remember in the back of my head, let's say school finished at like three o'clock, right? Boom, school finished three o'clock. I know I have practice at six o'clock. My boys or whatever will be like, yo, we're going here and there. And I'll be like, yo, I definitely want to come, but I got to go to practice. Because if I don't show up for practice, I'm going to get in trouble. And if I don't get home from time, on time, my parents is going to be like, yo, what, where, where you at? What's going on? Where you at? You know what I'm saying? Soccer was a big thing in my house. Like I, every weekend was soccer. Starting from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, me, Joseph, D'Lo, that time my, my younger brother, Romello, wasn't really playing soccer. So we all had games every single day of the weekend. We played three games. And when I wasn't playing, we, I was watching my brothers play. When they weren't playing, they were watching me play because it's one car. So my dad was literally going all over to watch all of our games at the same time. So. I feel like I never really had time to get distracted by the stuff that I was doing in school, after school. So I was, 
I was saved, you know what I'm saying? In a sense where soccer kind of helped me <laughs> not be, you feel me, not be no, no gangster, no thug, none of those things. Like, continuing to be the battery, if you know what I'm saying? Because I was super bad, but definitely made me who I am today because I realized, like, that's not the life that I want to live, you know? So soccer had a lot to do with that. Ooh, this is a good question. What would you tell your younger self? Mm. I would tell my younger self to stay away from small-minded people. You know what I'm saying people who can't see the bigger picture, people who don't see your vision, you know? Because I feel like a lot of people, when you have a goal or you tell them something you want to do, they kind of tear you down. So kind of stay away from mind, small-minded people because I had a lot of things I wanted to do when I was younger and I kind of made things that people said kind of influenced me to kind of deter my direction of, you know, whether it was back in the days I used to sell shoes. I used to sell shoes all the time. I used to be a hustler. I used to order these shoes. Obviously they were Repelica shoes from China, but I used to order them and I used to sell them. I was big on like that kind of stuff and I had people saying like, oh nah, like it's not gonna work out. Da, 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 da. And I just, you know, I don't know, for some reason I just stopped doing it just because all the people that just brought their negative vibes. So stay away from small-minded people because who knows, I could have been a freaking small or I would have been a small business owner at that time, but became a massive business owner. Maybe like you see those guys like Cool Kicks, freaking who knows, bro. I could have been one of those stories. Like who knows, man. So stay away from small-minded people. I'd also say do everything and anything you want to do. I feel like when you're younger, that's the time that you need to fail. That's the time you need to test out everything like if you want to travel if you want to start a business if you want to do whatever you want to do when you're younger just so that you know like you fulfilled all your dreams you tried everything that way when you get older you kind of know like hey i did that already and now i'm focused and this is what i want to do this is my goals right now so obviously as i said to you guys before don't be afraid to fail. You're gonna fail. I mean, you're gonna fail a million times. Like I had to learn this myself. Like you're gonna fail a million times before one good thing happens to you. And once that one good thing happens to you, that still doesn't mean you're not gonna fail again. That's just another step that you're taking towards your goal. So you might you might take, you know how you always, they always say, you're gonna take 10 steps backwards just to make one step forward. That's gonna happen. That's a part of your journey. So just be okay with that. And one of the other biggest things I would say, listen to this right now. Make sure you demand, yo, 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 you, yo, I'm talking to you, bro. Make sure you save your money. I wish when I was younger, I would save my money. I was spending my money on every weekend. I would work, get my money, spend that shit all the time. Every, I'm done. I'm living paycheck to paycheck because you're young. You wanna floss. You want the new shoes, you want new clothes, save your money, bro. That way when you reach certain age, 23, 24, you have enough money saved in your bank account so you can put down on the house, you feel me? Because like example, for me, I would literally get, get my check and I would give my mom like 500 out of the check. I'd be like, hey, put this down for me. Every single check, I would give her $500. Can you put this down to save for me? Because if I have it, I know I'm gonna spend that shit. It is what it is, I'm gonna spend it. <laughs> so I made sure I gave her all that money so that I was able to have a little bit of savings bro but like that's what i would say make sure you save your money especially with the way the world is going now if you want to be able to afford a house especially in canada you need minimum two hundred thousand down payment right now which is outrageous so younger you if anybody's young watching this video make sure you save your money my dream vacation Woo! My dream vacation, I have so many places that I want to go to, I can't even, I don't even know how to narrow it down to my dream vacation, but I feel like one of my dream spots is Dubai. Like, I feel like Dubai is one of my dream vacations, but a spot that I really want to visit, like one of my dream spots I want to visit is Old Trafford. If you guys are soccer fans in here and you know, <laughs> I'm a Manchester United supporter, you feel me? So I, I definitely want to visit Old Trafford. I want to watch one of those games. So I wouldn't say England is my dream vacation, probably Dubai, but I want to visit one of those places. So that's like my dream place that I want to visit. Who's your favorite artist? Vibes Cartel, you zimmy! <laughs> Yo, I love Vibes Cartel. If you guys don't know, I'm Canadian Jamaican, so I have a Jamaican background and Bumble Club Vibes Cartel, I did money, zimmy, guys, I would say. What would you be doing if you weren't doing YouTube? <sighs> 
If I wasn't doing YouTube, I don't know what I would be doing, but I hope that I would be a pro soccer player. I hope that I would have literally just tapped into myself, stopped focusing on the wrong things and put all my focus on soccer because I literally had the talent. I had the talent, I believe, to make it as a pro, but I didn't have the discipline that you needed to be a pro. And I feel like as I got older, I understood I understood that like playing any sport, doing anything in life, you need discipline. And discipline doesn't just mean like, you need discipline outside of the sport as well. Like, you know, taking care of your body, getting the proper rest, worrying about the right things. You know, like I feel like I was worrying about girls, I was worrying about partying and all that. Like I would just only train when it was practice just because I was naturally talented. So I feel like definitely feel like I would be, I would need to be more disciplined, more focused and actually have the drive to be what I want to be, which is a pro soccer player. You can't want to be a pro soccer player, pro any sport, and you do not want to work hard, bro. That's like not gonna work. So I kind of made sure like now in my life, anything that I want, I work hard, bro. I have discipline, I work hard, I grind. Some days we ain't sleeping, you feel me? So that's what you gotta do. So I would be a pro soccer player. If I wasn't, I would probably be a business owner of some sort. Have you ever had a near death experience? Yes, I have. And let me tell you. That is not something that you want to have in your life, bro. So as I told you guys before, my fear, one of my biggest fears is drowning. And I've been drowned before. I've been drowned before. It was my own fault, but I've been drowned before. And now I'm terrified of going too far in the water. So basically one day uh, we had a soccer team party and we were at one of my teammates' house in the backyard and there was a pool, everybody was swimming. And you know me, I, don't, I didn't want to feel left out. So my dumb ass said, yeah, I can swim. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've been, uh, who, who, what, do you, what do you need? I'm Michael Phelps. I can do the breaststroke. Oh, shoot, see? I can do the frog. I can do the breaststroke. I can do all of that. So they're like, yeah, okay. Shit. But somebody pushed me in the water. I guess they thought that I could swim, so they even realized that I was under that bitch drowning. Like, I came up, you know, like, if you hit, I was coming up, but I just went right back down. And I was down there drowning. My ass was drowning, and my cousin, Jermaine, he saved me. He took me out of that bitch, you know what I'm saying? And after that, bro, I never swam for the longest time. My cousin didn't save me, I would have been dead, bro. For real. Because nobody, nobody Nobody was even like looking at me as if anything was happening. I feel like so the people were just so busy doing what they were doing. I don't know how my cousin was able to realize that, you know, I think he actually knew I couldn't swim. So I guess a lesson I learned in that situation is never try to be who you aren't. Be yourself. You know, don't try to fit into situations you're not supposed to be in. Like, yo, it is what it is. I, I can't do that. I cannot do it. I cannot swim. I am proud of that. People make fun of me for that all the time. But listen, I don't care because I'm never putting myself in a situation where I'm gonna put myself in danger ever again in my life. I'm never gonna lie, I'm never gonna cap, I'm not gonna do none of that ever again, bro. So even now I have PTSD and the reason why I say that is because every time I shower, so if the water is cold and I, my head goes under the water, I automatically start panicking. I, always, I automatically start feeling like I'm about to drown, bro. So like when I shower, sometimes it's tough for me because like I gotta go in, wash my face real quick and come out because my, I start panicking. It's like I just start hyperventilating right away, which is super crazy, but that's one of my traumas. That's one of my biggest fears. And I hate that I can't swim because like I go on so many vacations with my beautiful for queen and I can't go deep in the water bro I can't go deep in the water I don't know if you guys have ever seen on my channel there's a video where we um, went swimming with the sharks and we actually went into the ocean and let me tell you my boy I was bro inside I was that I felt like I was about to drown the guy was pulling me on a um little life jacket he gave me this little baby ass life jacket to hold okay and I was in the water he was pulling me but the water was hitting my face and I felt like I wasn't secure in the life jacket to gave me. I felt like I was about to say my goodbyes. That was my last time being in the water. I was about to drown. And my girl, <laughs> she wanted to see me die. She didn't want to save me. She wanted to see me. <laughs> Nah, all jokes aside, literally I was holding on to her. I'm like, yo, you gotta hold me up. You gotta hold me up. You gotta hold me up. Bro, it was so crazy. If you haven't seen it, you tap into the full video, man. That was one of the craziest things I ever had to because I went into the ocean, bro. I went into the ocean, the deep ass ocean. So I was literally trying to overcome my fear. That was that was one of the things I was trying to do, but it was also affecting me at the same time. Where do you see yourself in five years? Jeez, five years? I see myself, hopefully, in five years, I could have a production company or I can be in a film. 
home with my beautiful queen, as you guys know. I don't know. You never know what the future is going to hold you, but you also don't want to hold yourself in like a box. Like, I feel like in five years, I want to accomplish a bunch of different things. You never know what's going to happen, bro. Time is moving so fast right now. Like, shit, we're already in. The year's almost over. <laughs> it might as well be done already. <laughs> I'm just messing around. But you get what I'm saying. Like, 2022 went by so fast. I feel like months now last like two weeks. So, I mean, I I really don't know, but in five years, I want to own at least three, four homes. I have a company of my own where I'm producing my own films, short films. So many things that can happen in five years, but I'll look back on this in five years and see, hey, did I accomplish any of those goals that I wanted to do? So, yeah, you get me. Have you ever been arrested? If yes, what for? Damn, bro. <laughs> I've been arrested before. Yes, I have. I've been arrested with my boy Chris back in high school. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, we went to the mall and we were doing things we weren't supposed to do, man. We were stealing, bro. I got arrested for stealing. But, I mean, so for that day, so it's a long story, but long story short, that day we went to like three different malls. So we left one mall that we just finished stealing from. And I, I'm not proud to say that, but it is what it is. When you're young, you do dumb things, you feel me? So I just stole some clothes from this one store and then made my way to a different mall. Now, we were making our way to that mall because we were gonna catch the bus to go home. But one of my, one of my, wasn't even my friend, to be honest, it was my boy's friend. He basically like, hey, I wanna go into this store. I'm like, wanna go in this store, bro, let, let's go home. He's like, no, 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 I wanna make a quick stop. I'm like, all right, cool. So long story short, this man decides that he wanted to pick up a box of content you feel me? He put up like two or three and he was stuffing that back. He was stuffing it in his pants. I'm like, yo, what is you doing? Cameras there and all that. Big store. The store was called Zellers at the time. I don't know what was going through his mind. Boom. We walk out of the store and I can see two security guards come because what they do is they wait for you to come out the store. The moment you come out the store, that is when they get you. So as soon as we came out the store, boom, seeing two of them coming, I was like, yo, I can see. I can, I can run right now, but if I run, I'm leaving my, my homies behind. I didn't want to do that. So long story short, they came in, it was like two or three of them, and they just said, yo, you guys come back here. I got arrested. I was young at the time. I was probably like 17, 16. So I, I had to call my parents. I didn't want to call my parents. So I was like, nah, <laughs> my parents are Jamaican. I'm about to get my ass boss, bro. So I had to call my brother. My brother came through. My brother bailed us out. Shout out to Daddy D-Lo. You know what I'm saying? He bailed me and Chris out and, and we were good. But the crazy story is all the stuff that we had took in from that day, they looked in the bag and they were like, yo, so where did you get this from? You know what I'm saying? Where did you get this from? And my boy's boy was like, oh, I don't know. It's not mine. It's not mine. I'm like, bro, whose is it then? It is yours. You know what I'm saying? But the stuff that he took from the other mom, he was claiming that it wasn't his. And he was pointing the finger on us, and I was just like, oh, Lee, bro. Like, I never talked to that guy ever again after that at the end of the day, because he's the one that made us get caught. But at the same time, no excuse should be put on anybody because we shouldn't have been doing that in the first place. But yeah, I got arrested for that. What do you look for in a woman? Oh, man. What do I look for in a woman? Ooh. That's a good question, but as you can see, I have, I'm in love with my beautiful queen. Oh, my God. And she has everything that I look for in a woman. I look for someone that's loyal. You definitely want to find a woman that's loyal because loyalty is key. Somebody who is truly genuine. I feel like genuine is is uh, is very big as well. You don't want to be with somebody who's shady, who's like just doing things just to be like, oh, I'm only doing it for you because we're in a relationship together. Nah, like you genuinely love doing this for me. Like out of your goodness of your heart, you would even do it for me even if you were mad. That is something that I look for in a woman because that's how I am. No matter how mad I am, even if I'm mad at you, I'm still going to make you dinner or I'm still going to do the things I would normally do. It's not just because I'm mad, I'm not going to be like, yo, all right, fuck all that. Like, nah. And definitely somebody who's loving, man. They need a woman that's loving, that's in a love and cherishing, treat you like the man you deserve to be. Uh, those are some things that I look for in a woman. And definitely a girl who can throw it back. I'm super buggy, bro. I'm super buggy. <laughs> Yo, man, that was great. 
Thank y'all for dropping all your questions, bro. Appreciate everybody who dropped a question, and I hope I answered all y'all questions. Just remember, y'all, stay true to yourself. Always stay true to yourself. Never stop grinding. Always work towards your goal, no matter if your boy, if any of your family, your friends, or even if your closest people are in your ear telling you that it's never gonna work, tune them out, bro. Those people, you don't want them in your circle. Grind, 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 grind. I wanna tell y'all something that I did in my life was to make sure that my my goals was the only thing I was focused on. I didn't care what anybody had to say. I had friends, I had, I'm not gonna say family because my family was huge supporters of anything that I do. They always support me no matter what decisions I make, but I had friends, I had so many people that were looking at me when I decided to start YouTube. And they're like, yo, what are you doing? Like, why are you doing YouTube? Look at this guy, ha ha ha, laughing all these things with their negativity. And once I blew up on YouTube, you feel me? Those same people were in my DMs asking me, you know, how do they start a channel? how does it work all these things about YouTube when they were just clowning me before you know those people are still on Reddit my DM I made sure I read their message so they can see that I read it just because I felt like that was super disrespectful to be clowning on people um, but at the end of the day that's what I'm trying to say no matter what you do you're gonna have people that are gonna bring that type of vibe that type of energy to you just tune them out man just tune them out and y'all just keep striving for greatness bro keep striving for greatness it doesn't matter where you are today it's about where you are tomorrow and as long as you're taking baby steps baby steps baby steps you will finally get there but the moment you decide to quit when things get hard that is when it's not gonna work out for you you know what i'm saying you gotta sleep eat and breathe that shit bro you gotta sleep eat and breathe it when i tell you when i started youtube with my queen we were grinding every single day and i brought that mentality from soccer i knew i didn't want to fail again so i made sure no matter what we we're working a nine to five job. As soon as we got home, we're editing, shooting, all of that. We went to bed at 3 a.m. to wake up at 6 a.m. to do it all over again for a whole year with zero results. No results. And just when you wanted to give up, just when I wanted to give up, just when she wanted to give up, my mind said, no, can't give up. We got to keep grinding because we're going to make it one day. And just that belief and that grind, even through all of the struggles, no views, no nothing, no dollars, no nothing. Finally, one day it worked out. And that's a lesson, bro. Never give up because you don't know when it's going to be your time. So keep grinding. I love y'all. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. We out.